Hey, what's going on guys? G-Dog Casey here with my buddy Matt. We're going to be casting some StarCraft 2 from the Chobo Team League. Uh, and we're going to be starting with the Red Terran player down at the bottom right of the map. He is Operator from Team All Inspiration. And up in the top left corner we have the Blue or Teal player Firestorm playing for Team FXL. Yep, and this is going to be a TVT, so uh, we got a little bit of conversation going on in the background. We can just ignore that. Uh, but I'm actually pretty interested to see how this one is played out. Uh, a little bit of information on this. Uh, basically, this is week one of the Chobo Team League, and these are two gold players. So we're going to be watching a gold matchup here. And we're playing on King Sejong Station right now, and we can see right off the bat, up in the top left corner, we have our... Uh our wall kind of being started a little bit for the Terran player in the top right, left. <laughs> yeah, Firestorm. And yeah. Uh, yeah, Operator down the bottom doing the same thing. This is, uh, oh, we got a gas going down actually for the uh, Teal player. So that's telling me we're probably going to see an early Reaper. Or actually, that's a gas before Rax. So that's a very early gas. I wonder what we're doing here. Rax is up as well. And for Operator, we have the, the gas going down just after the barracks, which is a little more standard. Uh, so with the very early gas, I'm not really sure what we're going to see. With TVT, I'm not all that uh, knowledgeable, so this is going to be a learning experience for all of us. Now we see a scout going out. Operator is uh, a little bit ahead of the schedule. Yeah, which is good as he'll be able to get in before the wall finishes, because Operator is probably going to get his wall down. Uh, first, and then the teal player will not be able to get in there. He's actually looking for a proxy barracks. That's why the, the SCB is going all over the place here. Now, again, uh, this is week one, and Operator is actually uh, pretty much the captain, I would say, of Team All Inspiration, uh, which is a team I am a part of, and possibly, Matt, you might be a part of in the future. We'll see about that. If I could up my game a little bit, but yeah. Yeah, it should be. Uh, so I actually had an interview with this guy. He's a, He has a stream on Twitch, and he's a very good player. As of now, he's actually hit platinum, so he's been playing very well. Uh, actually, we got a... Hold on, did I miss something here? No, we got a Marine coming out first for Operator, so he's actually skipping the... Uh, he's skipping the Reaper play. And a factory's coming out really quick for Firestorm right now. Yeah, and that's probably what that early gas was all about, trying to get that early factory. Uh, we could see a Starport right after that, too. Not much scouting going on, I see, really. But uh, I think they're just waiting until they get enough, uh, get enough, and then they're just gonna scan. Yeah, yeah, that's something that they could do. Second gas going down for operator now, so we can see his factory going down as well as. Uh, well, we're gonna have to wait and see what's going down there. We do have a uh, reactor on the tech lab, so actually, what I think is gonna happen is once this reactor finishes, uh, we'll see a swap, and the uh, factory will jump on that and start spewing out some aliens. Now, if you haven't noticed, Firestorm's been supply blocked for a little bit right now. His uh, supply depot is only just finishing now, so it, it's it's been a good 15, 20 seconds that uh, he hasn't been able to get anything out. Yeah, but he is dropping. So to make up for that, he's dropping that early uh, second command center to spend some of that money that he wasn't able to spend. And we do see a starport going down for him as well. Um, actually, an operator too is getting a starport. The scan just came in for Firestorm, so uh, he he. He has seen, if we just look at uh, Firestorm's view, he did see complete. everything. Yep, he saw everything he needed to know about there. Uh, he probably ready. clicked on that starport that was building so he can see what's up. And actually, I was wrong to put the swap here for uh, for Operator. He's actually going to swap the starport onto a tech lab and maybe get some Cloak Banshees out here. Yep, Cloak and Banshee going down. Um, and we don't have an engineering bay going down for... Firestorm, so he it might take a while for him to get a uh, missile turret up. Now, if Operator doesn't take uh, advantage of this uh, early amount of units that he has, and this uh, second that's already going down for Firestorm, he's going to have uh, quite a bit more in uh, resources than he than Operator. Yeah, yeah, that's definitely true. That expansion is going down, but Operator is going to be sending out some Cloak Banshees soon, so. That's definitely going to do some damage, especially if Firestorm doesn't see that coming. Uh, but you're right, though. Firestorm is going to be getting ahead in the economic lead here pretty soon. Oh, we got a Raven coming out for Firestorm, so that'll give the detection that he will need. 
But how many units does Firestorm have? He has one Hellion and one Viking. And the Viking is just sitting at home, and now he has three Hellions, so... Uh, In comparison, we have, uh, what do we have, uh, ten Marines and and a Hellion and a tank now for Operator. Yeah. Yeah, a pretty sizable push here. If he if he were to push out with that with the Banshee, uh, we can see some decent damage coming, but we're gonna just have to wait. And we do see the scan dropping for Firestorm, so he sees... Oh my god, what happened? That was actually... He cancelled Cloak. The Banshee's going in anyways, though. If you look at the top, uh... Top left side, he's coming in. Oh, he did get the Banshee out. Okay. And he will be noticed by that floating racks there. Yeah, that was actually a very smart play there. He's going to see that coming in. There goes the cloak. Now see how many he can kill here. He's going for the gas SCVs, which is smart because it just forces a little bit of extra work. Already with three kills. Yeah, but now the Raven's out. And the Viking, so that basically hard counters the cloak Banshee. And uh, he'll, be, uh, he'll just be sitting over here probably. Maybe he'll join the army. But we do have the push coming out from Operator here with one tank and a Viking to give uh, vision for that tank. So actually, these Hellions are going to do really well against that, against those Marines, but we're going to see what happens here. An Operator is just putting down his second command center now. The engagement up in the top. Even engaged for both players, I guess. The tank is injured, uh, but we have more forces streaming across the map. Another tank to for operator. So he's putting on the uh, he's putting on the pressure here. And now that he has dropped his second base and he's managed to force the uh, the lift off of Firestorm, he could put himself in the lead here. With no tanks for Firestorm, this is gonna be hard to pull off. Yeah, the siege tank is just oh, oh. and there's the GG. Wow, that was a pretty premature GG, I, I would say. Well, he, he used his money and uh, he, he attacked just off one base. Yeah, which is, you know, a powerful attack, especially when uh, Firestorm went for that natural uh, expansion fairly early. But still, I mean, wow, that was a quick GG, especially in a league game like this. Uh, but anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Uh, Firestorm, or Operator will take the one nothing lead for all inspiration in this uh, team league. And we'll be back with you with our second game of the week. Talk to you guys later. Thanks.